Here we have the ultimate productivity and gaming laptop setup. And our friends at Best Buy were nice enough to sponsor this video to showcase some of the awesome products they have to offer in store. We're very excited to see how well it works with this MSI laptop, but you can put any laptop you want in this setup and show you guys how well it can perform in the latest titles with all these awesome, well, peripherals from Best Buy. So first up with the keyboard, we have the Rocad Vulcan TKL gaming keyboard, which is a 10 keyless keyboard with these really nice, like low profile keycaps that also have red linear switches, very nice keyboard keyboard from Rocad. Rocad is basically the main focus of the peripheral section of this setup because they have some really awesome gaming headsets, mice, keyboards, and mouse pads you can choose from. So definitely check out Best Buy if you want to pick some up. But this keyboard is really awesome. Nice linear switches, which are going to be absolutely great for fast response times in gaming. And honestly, red linear switches are the best choice for gamers out there compared to the clicky ones on the market. But they do have a lot of options you can choose from. And this keyboard is a great choice. Now for the mouse, we have the Rocad Cone Pro, which is actually a pretty budget friendly mouse at $24 with two programmable buttons on the side. We have some nice RGB on the uh, left and right button, which is actually pretty cool to see. I haven't seen this design before and a pretty solid scroll wheel. And yeah, it's a budget mouse with some very nice sliding. Look at that. You're gonna get those flicks in CS2, Jonah, with this, aren't you? No problems go whoop, no problem whatsoever, but very nice mouse overall, very ergonomic in the hand. And for 24 bucks, it's a really good buy. And for the desk mat, we have this Rocad extended desk mat with RGB lighting. It's RGB lighting, it's extended, it looks great. It's absolutely awesome for this setup. And there's a lot of different options for Rocad you can go with if you wanna go with an all Rocad setup. But this one right here allows you to change RGB colors and it's a really big desk mat. You can fit a full size keyboard if you go with a full size option or just go with the uh, 10 keyless keyboard and you'll have no problems whatsoever having plenty of real estate for your gaming needs. Now let's talk about that monitor because this is the star of the show in terms of like what you're gonna be looking at when you're gaming and doing all your work. This is an LG 34 inch ultra wide monitor which is 2560 by 1080. Not exactly the 3840 by 1440p monitor you might be used to, but it is much easier to run, but still gives you a ton of screen real estate. I mean, look at this thing. It's an absolute beast of a monitor. And if you are using the laptop, you know the biggest downside with them is you don't have a lot of screen room. Being able to take your laptop, dock it in the setup and be able to edit in Premiere Pro or even play games in ultra wide view, this is a really good option. It is 75 Hertz, not high refresh rate, but good enough to where you'll be able to have a competitive edge in gaming. And the last of the Rocad peripherals is this Rocad headset. The ELO gaming headset, which is a nice budget gaming headset with a very nice bendable mic built into the headset. We also have a bunch of controls on the side of the headset, like volume up, mic up, and a mute switch. And it has pretty nice padding. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on real quick. Not too bad, pretty lightweight. I will say it cancels a lot of sound around me. It's really noise canceling and the headband feels pretty solid as well. And uh, yeah, we got RGB. Of course, you can't complain about having RGB on a headset. And this headset will make a perfect option for any gaming setup really, but this setup in particular is gonna work out great. So now we talk about the setup portion of the gaming setup. We're gonna have Jackson talk about the gaming laptop we're gonna be using. And as we mentioned, you can use any gaming laptop you want, but we're gonna be showcasing a specific one you get from Best Buy today. So once again, you can plug any laptop you want in here, but this is an MSI Cyborg 15A12V. And let's go over some of these specs, guys, because this is a pretty awesome bang for buck. This has an i5 12450H 8 core 12 thread, meaning we have efficiency and performance cores. So that's pretty awesome, the 12 gen advantage. We have 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM, and it is using both slots. So it's actually dual channel two of two at 4,800 megahertz. That is pretty awesome, really good for gaming. Now, traditionally, it doesn't come with 16 gigs out of the box, but it's really easy to upgrade. So watch our video on how to do it. And for storage, we have a Samsung 512 gig NVMe M.2 that is Gen 4 speed. And then of course, what makes this thing a gaming laptop is we have a NVIDIA RTX 4050 that has six gigs of dedicated WAM. And this thing is a pretty awesome laptop. It looks really cool, has a very nice color scheme to it. I wanna show you guys the back too. It's pretty sleek. You know, you could go to a coffee shop with this thing and not be super embarrassed. But once you open it up, it is all gaming ready to go. And the laptop is a pretty good amount of ports, but for our setup sake, we did have to get a USB hub. So for your setup, you can always do a docking station or we just kind of like the more plug and play where if you're not unplugging this thing every single day, there's only like five things you gotta plug in. So it's not really too bad. But obviously, if you're on the go every single day, maybe buy a docking station. So now that we talked about the laptop and the full setup, let's go ahead and start benchmarking. All right, guys, we are now on our laptop setup and we're gonna start with Fortnite. Now we are currently using the speakers from the laptop to, well, 
actually get some gameplay audio for you guys. And we're currently running a medium setting preset, so we're running like high textures, far view distance, medium shadows, and uh, we are on DX12. And right now, we are in spooky Fortnite. Woo! But yeah, with this laptop setup, obviously, the main focus with an ultra wide like this is not gaming to start. Um, you really would use this for productivity, but you can do some gaming on the side with some budget gaming laptops. While be it, you will lose a little bit of performance because this is a higher resolution display. Um, it's still cool to see that you can do some ultra wide gaming on this thing at 2560 by 1080. Throw and drop in, typical Fortnite with all their stutters. Like, I feel like on even higher end systems, whenever you drop into Fortnite on the first time, there's always gonna be some stutters going on here, but we're gonna land in and hopefully don't die instantly. But yeah, we're getting pretty decent FPS, 120 to 130 FPS. If you want to limit some of these stutters, I mean, again, we are running on a 75 Hertz display. Uh, you could lock the FPS to 75 and have no problems whatsoever with that. But yeah, this game is looking pretty good. Again, some micro stutters here and there, but who knows with Fortnite guys, all these updates that they keep pushing out. I actually had an update the first time when I actually launched this this morning. I saw there was a whole new update and change to the UI. This game is always adding new stuff. But yeah, with this setup, I think it's really cool to see that you can easily take whatever laptop you want, dock it, have all your stuff plugged up, ready to go, and be able to both sit down and game, and then on the go, unplug the laptop and take it with you. Um, I've always liked the versatility of a laptop setup. I personally have never run one at my house, but I've always contemplated it because I always like the portability of laptops, to be able to take them to work and things like that, and then the ability to swap to game mode or desktop mode um, makes for a very interesting uh, video. And um, I, I might consider doing an experiment on that, um, replacing my desktop with a laptop. That might be a fun long-term video, similar to when we did the, oh goodness, let's see if I can get this guy. Sim similar to when I switched from my Aya Neo, from my PC to an Aya Neo. Sorry, buddy, you weren't getting out of that situation. Okay, and I'm not getting out of that situation. Jesus, you're gonna make me re -queue already? Ridiculous. Now this laptop that we're using does not come with a MUX switch. So that is gonna be one limiting factor is it's really hard to fully switch over from the um, iGPU to the uh, integrated graphics. You're still sharing a load of resources with the iGPU, um, which might lead to some of the stutter we're dealing with. But normally, normally when you do plug up an external display that does go away. I have experimented with turning off this display and running just this display, uh, but it didn't yield much of a performance boost. It kind of was the same. So it just kind of is what it is with this budget gaming laptop. But as we mentioned with this setup, your mileage may vary depending on what you pair uh, this monitor keyboard and mouse with, uh, whatever laptop you go with, it'll work out differently. And in this situation, it works out good for esports titles and you'll see CS2 also will be a game that we'll play. You'll see with CS2, too, it will run pretty well also. Um, but yeah, there's still gonna be some limiting factors depending on what kind of budget laptop you go with. Fortnite loves eating up RAM too. We're at 13 gigs of RAM being used. This thing has 16 gigs of RAM. Um, so upgrading this thing to more RAM could also help as well with some of the stutters. We are running dual channel DDR5 though, so. And that CPU is hitting 100%. I'm wondering if this game really likes eating up uh, CPU resources now. It's always changing guys, it's always changing, especially in DX12 mode. What's up? Oh! I'm gonna move and reload. Ah! Someone's an absolute brawl against AI. I don't think I can get up there to him that way. Sorry, buddy. Oh, Jesus. Ah! And just for experimental sake, sake on this drop, I'm gonna go ahead and do the display disable so you guys can see what I'm referring to. So when you hit function F11 on this laptop, you can do second screen only. And this technically should display or disable the secondary display. And we'll see if the performance settles out at all or if it has similar random stutters here and there. Cause again, this is a, I think day one update of Fortnite at the time recording this video. And most likely it's what's causing the stutter. Um, Cause this hardware, when we did test it before, ran Fortnite flawlessly. So. Um, but we'll try um, on this external display with it disabled and see on the second drop if things run a little bit smoother. In my opinion, this kind of defeats the purpose of having a whole laptop set up, but 
in theory, if you are just trying to get maximum performance and get away from the laptop screen and use this as a desktop, then this would be a good use case for it and you can disable it and maximize the performance. Okay, drop number three into Fortnite. Somebody else dropped really close by. Pro It doesn't make me a good gamer at all though, does it? But no, I really like all these peripherals from Rocat. Um, this keyboard, really solid. Um, it, being a 10 keyless keyboard with this low profile switch design is pretty cool. And also having this gaming mouse that's pretty budget, honestly. It's a pretty budget mouse, but feels very premium. Um, not super heavy, it's pretty lightweight overall. Um, I like it, and this desk pad is big. Like there's a lot of desk real estate um, for this setup. And we would use the headset, but for you guys being able to hear the audio, for this benchmark, we uh, don't have the uh, headset plugged up right now, but the headset from our testing runs really well um, and sounds pretty good as well, very comfortable. So the Rocat peripherals, they're looking really, really solid. Oh, really? Why, who, who, put, the, who put that guy up there? Well, McAllister, that is all that's gonna happen because apparently I am in the real lobbies now and these guys are absolutely killing me. But overall, pretty solid experience at Fortnite on this setup. Let's try some CS2. All right, guys, we are playing some CS2, a very new game on the market that is also very old and classic and... Yeah, it's hidden under yeah, the overlay. Yeah, hidden, my gosh. All right, so we're gonna go over to video and uh, let's see, advanced video. We're basically running like high settings. Uh, it's, are we running native resolution here? Yeah, it should be the 2560 by 1080. Here it is. Yep, full screen 2560 by 1080. And uh, man, this is a lot of screen real estate. It's, it's, it's a very big CS2 experience. Like, am I gonna be able to tap heads with this? I don't know. You might. One thing to mention too, and we'll probably show it on screen, is I did mess around with this laptop a bit more because we're having some stuttering in Fortnite, and we did get the MSI Center, which is the power profile like chooser for the laptop, reinstalled, and it did improve the performance of Fortnite. So just keep that in mind, you'll see some of the performance benefit from it, but since this video is more focused on the setup, we're not gonna touch too much on that. At home, I use a 32-inch uh, 1440p monitor, so for me, this is actually like, honestly like pretty adequate like it kind of reminds me of, of using that resolution which i i really do appreciate <laughs> i shouldn't should have seen that coming um but yeah i i'm actually i'm really enjoying this ultra wide experience a lot more than i thought i would and also i love the fact that there's no like black bars or anything crazy like that i know some games and some resolutions that is that was a, the biggest issue with ultra wide overwatch still has that issue i was it's wanting really to load up overwatch but it's still one of those games that does not natively support ultra wide for some reason so what'd you say about the peripherals how you how you feeling with them so i'm really liking the keyboard and i mean actually i'm liking both the mouse is actually really lightweight it is kind of weird they like give you the honeycomb design but it's like not actually like like it looks like honeycomb but you can't actually uh What's the term? See through it. See through it in the full light wave. <laughs> yeah. I would say that's what I was saying. The keyboard feels incredibly premium. Then the mouse itself is only like $24. So it feels like a $24 mouse, but it feels like a good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the op feel diff. There yeah, it the is. The op is definitely different now. You got to hold a lot more still to use it now. He knows I have not be scared. Oh, you shouldn't be though. It's going down. Now. Wonder how many chickens someone would have to kill in the game to actually win just by shooting chickens. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I mean, is all the audio coming from the laptop too? It is. Yeah. Sounds really good. It has a little bit of bass to it. All right. What are these hit boxes? Oh. Oh, oh we got him. Oh. Okay. Oh. Right, well. Oh. Speaking of headshot. <laughs> No! Oh. No! I didn't realize the time was out. That's All right, guys. Well, that wasn't uh, that wasn't terrible. We went negative, but you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but what's not negative? Uh, right. What's not terrible <laughs> is is how well the game ran. And this monitor, even though it's 75 hertz, it just feels really good. So yeah, let's go ahead and wrap this video up real quick and talk about this setup as a whole because I think for any laptop, it'll work out really well. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking our ultra wide monitor along with our full laptop setup. And this thing just worked out really awesome. I am super stoked about how nice everything is and how premium it is. And we didn't have to absolutely break the bank to make it happen. 
For an ultra wide setup, it's quite affordable and being able to plop in whatever laptop you want into the setup and make it work is a really awesome benefit. And as always, if you wanna buy any of this stuff, check those links down below and shop at Best Buy today. Everything in today's video is available at Best Buy and there's a lot of other options as well you can buy in store at great prices, especially with those holidays coming up. So definitely check those links down below. They will be affiliate links. They will help us out. A big shout out again to Best Buy for sponsoring today's video. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Peace out. Once again, we got other YouTube channels. We have a partner Discord. We even have Instagram, Facebook, X. We got TikTok. We got it all, guys. All kinds of social media platforms for more Toasty Bros content. They're all available in the description down below. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.